Hello, it's March from Minnesota. And it's Trudy from Minnesota. Hey, Trudes. I don't hear the chainsaws going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you think the boys are done cutting wood? Let me go take a look, yeah? Oh, yeah, go look out the window and see if you see them coming. Oh, no, I don't see them. Oh, you know what? I think we should get started because when those chainsaws stop, you know they're heading this way. Oh, yeah. And they're going to be hungry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what are we making? You know, I'm glad you asked that, Trudes. Yeah. Because I was in your cupboard yesterday. Oh, sure. And uh, trying to put together what we were going to make for hot dish today. Great. And yeah. I saw spaghetti in there. Okay. And it reminded me that I haven't made spaghetti in a long time, especially that glorified spaghetti oh. hot dish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember the one that I made a couple of years ago and we took up to the uh, Paul Bunyan dog, dog sled races in Duluth? I sure do, yeah. Yeah, you know what we did is we made the hot dish two days before, threw it in the freezer, got it all nice and frozen, and then the day of the, the uh, dog sled race, threw the hot dish in the back of the car, in the back seat, and drove to Duluth, and, which is about five hours from here. By the time we got to Duluth, it was perfectly thawed out. Oh yeah, it was yeah. good. It was ready to go. Yeah. We just threw it right on the um, the campfire the, uh, uh, the campfire yeah. thingy that they had there. Yeah, we just had a makeshift thing there, yeah. and it was great. Yeah, yeah. a and nice it, oven there. It baked up real well. and uh, Sure, outdoor cooking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it disappeared real fast. Oh, it, it sure yeah. did. But he loved it. And you know what? I was also thinking about Trudy, remember? When Lundy got oh. that big mess in his car with the s'mores, oh, he made that's... a big mess. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, he was eating. He likes to multitask, and so he was eating his s'mores from this, uh, you know, gathering. And he, you know, he would adjust the mirror, and all of a sudden, the chocolate and car. the marshmallow in the car yeah. while he's driving. Yeah, and it got all over the mirror. The dogs were in the back. Oh, sure. And then he tried to lick it off, and then the dog saw him licking, and it made them hungry. So the dog started licking his rear view mirror, and it became a real mess. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> that Lundy. wasn't even as funny as the the, oh, no. the other escapades. Lundy is oh, yeah. my husband's cousin. His name is Lundy Lundquist, and uh, sure, yeah. He actually likes to do a lot of things in his car because he's a multitasker. He likes sure. to cook in his car as he's driving. He likes to add the bragging rights, like, look what I did. I did all this, like, you know, with my foot and my hand and my, you know, and bobbing my head upside down. Yeah. <laughs> One of the last things that he did and he got in trouble for was he was grilling hot dogs in the front seat of his car when he was driving. And he even got pulled over by the cops because his car started on fire as he oh, was yeah. grilling. Yeah, the smoke, the, 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 the policeman saw the smoke trailing down the, the highway and then they, that's what made him pull them over and you know. And he tried to bribe the policeman with a container, a, a Tupperware container of hot dishes that he had sitting on the Sure, it was a really good hot dish and you know the policeman said, you know, I'm going to take this hot dish but I, I must still arrest you, otherwise that's bribery. But if I don't take the hot dish, I'll have to, you know, report you. So this is the only way to make this thing right. I'll just take the gift for myself and the guys at the police station, and we'll have a good time. And uh, actually that put Lundy in some good stand, standing, you know. Yeah, because they- Because they, they love the hot dish. They did, and um, even though they didn't take it as a bribe, which is a good thing. Oh yeah. They knew that he was a good source for hot dish. Yeah, the policeman was like Solomon. He knew what to do. Just take the hot dish. Yeah, he was a very, <laughs> the policeman was a very But arrest nice him man. anyway, yeah. Yeah. Because it, you yeah. Know. yeah. Well, that's just one of many, many, many Lundy Lundquist cooking in his car <laughs> stories, among other things sure. that he does. But uh, we could talk about it all day, and we should probably get started with our hot dish making, huh? Yeah. yeah. So, what are we cooking? We're making that spaghetti hot, hot dish. dish. Yeah, so, you know, you know, we'll just get my started. memory is just like three seconds long, yeah. So, let's go. Yes, we'll get started. So, Margie, what do you have two dishes here for? I'm glad to ask that, Trudy. This recipe makes two, two quart hot dishes. That's why we have two pans here. Both of these are two quart, they're just different shape. That way you can put one dish in the oven and cook it right now and serve it up. And then the other one, you just throw in the freezer and when you're ready to serve it, then you cook it then. Sure thing. It's real handy. Action. 
Here are the ingredients then. Hey Margie! Yeah! You got the hamburger! Yeah. One pound of hamburger fried. Yeah. 16 ounces of cremet spaghetti. One full jar of Prego spaghetti sauce. One cup of sour cream. One can of Campbell's brand cream of mushroom soup to make it really creamy. Two cans of tomato sauce. Now this is sugar, three tablespoons of sugar because my Bill, he likes his tomato based hot dishes a little sweet and Eric's not too far behind him. We're kind of convincing Eric that's the way to go. But you can omit it if you don't want it. One half teaspoon of garlic powder. One full teaspoon of oregano flakes. And the last, but not least, cheddar cheese. Sharp cheddar cheese, as a matter of fact, for real cheese flavor. So the first thing you do is you fry up the hamburger with the one cup of onions and you fry it until the hamburger is no longer pink and the onions are slightly cooked. You don't want them cooked all the way through because you don't want them to be mushy. Once the hamburger is browned, you add your oregano flakes your garlic powder, and if you're using sugar, you add that in now so that it has a chance to caramelize with the hamburger. Then we're going to add the tomato sauce. cans. Then we add the jar of spaghetti sauce and mix that in really well. And you'll let that simmer once you've got it stirred and well incorporated, you let it simmer for about, oh my gosh, I'll say five minutes. It doesn't take that long. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fast. While your spaghetti sauce and hamburger mixture is simmering on the stove, stir your sour cream and cream of mushroom soup together until it's well blended. Put about six quarts of water on the boil. I added about a teaspoon of salt. This water is for the spaghetti. So once that we comes like up to, to cut boil, ours we'll in half because it's easier to serve it when it's not real long spaghetti strands. And cook it for about. 10 to 12 minutes till it's the way you like it. Al dente probably works the best because you're gonna bake it off anyway, so it'll soften a little bit more. The next step is to assemble your hot dish. I already put down a layer of spaghetti sauce. And now I'm putting down the spaghetti and we're gonna alternate the spaghetti sauce, spaghetti, and the creamy soup and sour cream mixture and cheese. That looks real good, yeah. Then what I'm going to do is just start spreading out the sour cream and soup mixture next. And you gotta make sure that you have enough for both hot dishes. So I'm not gonna put too much in one or the other. 
So it's a good idea to do them side by side? I think so. Yeah, you don't want to do one first and then forget it and then go do the other because you're not going to have enough. And really you're just putting a little bit of, a, I'm going to call it a dollop on there. You're not going to completely saturate it with the soup mix. cheese. Oh, the cheese. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. That's going to be delicious, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see why it disappears so fast at the potlucks, huh, Truths? Yeah, when it's looked this good even before it's put in the oven. And we know the ingredients go well together. Then you put down your last layer of spaghetti. Heading down the head, heading down the home stretch here. This is really so easy to put this recipe together. It's amazing how easy it is. And that should do it. Add one more layer of the, the creamy soup mixture on top. And it'll be good to go. That was the last layer of cheese. Now all I gotta do is cover it with oil and put it in the oven for about 55 minutes. So one goes in the freezer and the other one goes in the oven. Well, here it is. Look at those nice layers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, glorified spaghetti oh. Italiano. Hot. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Oh, is it good, Trudy? Mm. Mm. Does it taste like it did two years ago? Oh, at yeah. The hot bunion dog sled race. Mm. It's creamy. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Tomatoey. Tomatoey. Yeah. And um, I taste this, some of the, the oregano flakes. Yeah. Best ever Itali Italiano. Right from your own home. Mmm. Herby. Mmm. Mm hmm. Tart. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Hangy. Hangy. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's so good, yeah. Mmm. You got all the, the layers mm. in there, and it's not not that hard to oh, eat. Oh yeah, <laughs> mm. this is something special. I'd be uh, serving this to my friends, mm. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. special mm. occasion. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. oh yeah, that sour cream adds some real tang to this too, hot mm. fruits. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, the cream, the sour cream. Mm. But it tastes just like spaghetti, but the best ever spaghetti, yeah. Mm, yeah, the best ever. You know what? I think we got another winner on our hands. Yeah, cheesy. Yeah. <gasps> mm. 
Don't wait for a dog sled race for your next hot dish. Make it tonight. This one. <laughs>